Welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. Thank you for joining me here. Guys, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for all your generosity. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your views, your comments. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm very, very blessed to read for you. So for that, I thank you. Capricorn, let's get straight to your messages. star there's some something with family here now what the hell you're getting some kind of justice it's taking you some time here but you're very guarded well no wonder somebody's been very manipulative here Oof, shit. Somebody is just like very burdened here. There could be um, some fighting and arguing between a couple here. This is coming out again. So, <sighs> someone is spying. Because it's like they want to make some sort of an apology here. So this couple could have a child. It's like a teenage child or something like that. They're fighting and arguing with, um, it could be their mom or something like that. Who's it's like the mom and the dad are always fighting or something like this. And the child. Ooh, there's going to be a tower here. Somebody's going to find out. This child. May run away. like this oh my god there could be a teenager here who can't stand it at home who's fighting and arguing this is high drama in their household this is a teenager who could be thinking of running away to find their other family members they can't stand it there's too much chaos and too much fighting and too much um they don't get along someone is just really really selfish there's an opportunity So it's almost like they're pushing them out the door. I don't know what's going on. There's a king and a queen of swords here. So they're at each other's throats. This child is sick and tired of hearing it's a teenager. And they're sick and tired of hearing the fighting, the arguing, the... This is a child who cannot stand being at home. And it's like they want to run away. They might be headed your direction. It's like, 
I don't know if this is like one is a step parent or something like that. They can't stand it. So they might be going to their friends or something like this. They may contact you. Somebody want to know. Somebody may want. They feel like. Yeah. This could be the ministry here. This child. Doesn't know what to do. This child wants to run away from home. Whoever I'm getting. They're scared. They, they're they scared. It's like... They see you as very stable, secure. And they're made, like working on a plan. So you, this could be... It's almost like they've made them afraid of their father. They have made them afraid of their father. So they may contact you. It's like you could be a grandmother or an auntie or... I don't know. It's like a child wants to contact you. They're sad. Maybe the father has passed away and now they're all stressed out and heartbroken. It's like... Oh my goodness. It is a... Uh, there's a lot of love you could offer this person even a talk like they want to talk to you maybe they want to get to know who their father is or find out about their father or something like this they're not they haven't been talking there's been no talking but there's a great deal of of respect here somebody is like tried to turn them against someone there you could be extended family or I could be picking up on on your past if you were a child runaway I don't know it's like This is extended family. And it's like they want to find out their genealogy. They want to know who they come from. They want to know where they belong. They want to know the other side of the family. This has come out before. And it's showing up again, but it's like elevating. It's like there is a child that wants to run away from home. But where they want to run to is to family, extended family. So you, you um, could be this extended family. Like the mother and the father do not get along at all.
if the father is even alive. It's like, they're scared. They're scared to, like, contact you or scared to reach out to you. You may be hearing from someone. It is family. Or someone you would think of as family. It shows you being a very loving, nurturing person. It's like this could be a niece, a nephew. they are Okay, another storyline, please, Spirit. Another storyline for Capricorn. I got lost in some of the reads. Don't mind me because I'm like, I actually feel those energies. This is like um, a teenager, teenage runaway. And you are extended family. This is your flesh and blood, somehow. They want to talk. Anyway, it's not going to let me out of this. I'm going to try a different deck and see what I get. Capricorn's messages. Capricorn's messages. The star. Oh, Jesus. Somebody does not want to be at home. They're praying and wishing for the Empress. So that could be your person that I'm picking up on and where they're at. Yeah, it is. So this is the person that could have juggled you, could have cheated. Um... It's like they might be in a situation where there's other people's kids involved. Or it is their own or your own. Anyway, I was trying to get another story. Someone's been acting incredibly arrogant and selfish here. Nope, it's not letting me out of it. So both X, it's the same story coming out, and I don't want to repeat it. Because I know everybody gets angry when I repeat stuff. But that's two different decks with the same message. So I'm going to have to cut it short. Capricorn, I'm sorry. That's the message that wants to come out. And I even switch decks.
whoever this feminine energy is, they are delusional. Like they're delusional. And they're nasty. And there's trouble in the home. Either the masculine doesn't want to come home or this child doesn't want to come home. Or maybe both. <laughs> I'm just saying. It could be that, and I'm not going to twist it to suit it. That is what it is. That's the message. And I'm going to leave it there. Talk to you later.